Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today very early in the morning. It's a quarter of seven, and I'm looking at the market gap. I am so excited. I was too busy last night to do a market video. I wish I would have now, but I did actually call my broker yesterday, and we were talking about it because the market was falling, and one of the students in the room, Thunder, had sent me a bunch of emails that I saw later in the day, and the market was falling yesterday. And Thunder said, oh my gosh, the market's gonna fall, it's gonna collapse, it's gonna fall. And then I saw the market, I looked at it, and I said, oh my gosh, we're gonna do a sandwich, Julie. I, I called my broker and I said, oh my gosh, we're gonna do a sandwich. We are gonna sandwich this bar today. I knew we needed to really gap up to be a great sandwich, although I will tell you that we would have, we, we were going to sandwich this bar no matter what we did. I felt so certain that this bar would be reversed, and we were reversing more than half of it even in the gap. But we did close strong, and even if we had gapped down today, we would have rallied and sandwiched this bar. So this is going to be the piece of the cheese. This is the bread. Today will be the other bread. We're going to sandwich this bar from yesterday. Now, I will tell you that I watched some of this trading action yesterday in the market. And to me, <clears throat> it wasn't panic selling, okay? So we did gap down yesterday, and we had red. I mean, the market fell, that's true. But it was more like people, a little bit of selling, and, and really the shorts trying to push the market down. It's not going to work. It's not going to work, and it didn't work. And how do I know we're gapping up? And also, we broke yesterday's bar. We broke yesterday's low. We didn't go anywhere. This is really something. One of the things that I think people can grasp from my teachings is, well, there's, I mean, there's just a lot of things that I say that are really significant to try to help traders and that do help traders. But one thing is to get good at one thing. You must. When I started trading, I decided I wanted to focus on the shorts. Because I spent years doing nothing but shorts, I now am, number one, extremely good at reading weakness, but guess what? I'm also good at reading strength. But you never get good at one unless you, uh, or you get good at both, unless you get good at one first. So when I watched the selling action or the, or the red, it was, I think it was shorting and selling, but I watched it yesterday and I thought, this, this, isn't, this isn't weak. And then I was looking online, I was like, why are we doing this? Is there something I'm missing? And then I couldn't find anything. Well, there really wasn't any reason. There's no reason for us to do this, and there was no follow through, and there is no follow through, and how do I know we're gapping up today? We're retracing 80% of it. And the bottom line is that, you know, conclusion, market is still higher, and if we wanted to drop and fall yesterday, we could have fallen off a planet. We could have done it. We didn't. And today we're gapping up. So the market will rally today. I don't know what time. I don't know exactly where we open. It's very far from the open here now, two and a half hours. But we are gapping up. Really no econ out today in any significance. So whatever the market does today, it does its own accord. This is a beautiful market. It's continually showing its strength. No follow through in the gap down a couple of days ago. No follow through in the gap down from yesterday. Could have fallen hard, hard all the way down in here yesterday. Couldn't do it. Could not do it. The market is gapping up today and the market is higher and I love it. And yesterday I entered more of an option position I'm already in from the previous day and I entered a new option position Yesterday for an earnings play, I'm in this very far in advance, but I'm in it. And I got to tell you, it was aggressive for me to take that position yet, those positions yesterday to add to the one and take the other, but the price was good. And I felt 100% conviction that if the market would rally today, no matter how it's set up, if we had gapped down, I knew we'd rally. And if we were here, I knew we'd rally. And I really felt that we would gap up. And we did. We did. And so it was aggressive for me to take those positions yesterday because because we could have fallen today, but the price was right, the price was good, and I am just really excited, really excited to see what the market does here today. And just even in the next month, really. So have a great day, everyone. Market 
has the potential to be extremely bullish today. Over the high of yesterday, it will run and then get over the high of the previous day. In fact, let's just look at the targets for the market today. If it does all of this in the morning early, it's it's really good. It's 111 and then 111.50. But if we get going early, if we really get going quickly, 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 there is a chance we could have a monster move today, which would be anywhere over 111, really, more than $1.50 from where we're at right now. I mean, a monster move would be here in the market, 112, looking like we're going to make another new high very soon, which I knew that we would, and we're going to. So learn to get good at one thing. I'm extremely good at reading weakness. So when I... When I got good at that, then I was able to read then strength. And that's one thing that people learn from me. So get good at one thing first and then get good at something else. Because you only need to be good at one thing to make money in the market. But because I'm so good at reading weakness and what true weakness looks like, I knew it wasn't in the market. I knew it wasn't in yesterday's sell-off. I knew it wouldn't follow through. And as a result, I was able to read also the strength of the market that we do this today. And that's how I make predictions in stocks as well when I trade. So have a great day, everyone. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you want to sign up for the Golden Gap class. It's next weekend, April 16th and 17th. I am doing an early bird special. If you sign up by tomorrow, you get the options letter free for the year. And that, you want to, you want to, you want to get the trades in a minute already, actually. If you want to sign up for it, I'm in too already. So have a great day, everyone. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information. Thanks and have a great day.